Welcome back to Rental Be the Healthy We. Today we're going to be continuing our summer series and doing some nails using custom decals. If you'd like more information on how to make the custom decals, please refer to my previous video on that. Today I'll give you a few extra tips and tricks which are questions that people have asked me in the past. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we're going to start with some base colors for our sets that are a little bit more fall oriented most of the time. But I thought I'd show that you don't have to go out and get bright colors just for summer, because I know a lot of us can't have 50 billion, you know, gel polishes sitting around. So I thought I'd show you how you can take these colors that you wouldn't necessarily normally associate with summer and make some really pretty summer sets. Of course, you can feel free to change the background at any point. So let's start by showing you, this is a sheet and you can see I've cut some out already but this is a sheet of what my custom decals look like. I've already printed them, let them dry, and sprayed them with the lacquer top coat that I talk about in my video. So these are ready for usage. You just cut them out and we're also going to be using a stamper to make application easier as well as I like to use a makeup sponge that has water in it to go ahead and soak that. And then one of my tips today is when you are making your custom decals, take a soft tape measure like you use for making clothing and go from edge to edge to figure out what size you need and from cuticle to tip. And when you have a nail like a almond, make sure you account for that, that you're okay if your picture starts to go away at the tip. Um, we're going to ignore my nails, remember, because the farm work's been kind of hard recently. We've had 95 plus degree temperatures and it's just, it's not been pretty. So let's ignore this. I actually need to change them out. As you can see, I have a lot of cuticle outgrowth. I also typically use these two nails. So make sure you're also measuring the nails that you're going to use. Now, on average, mine are usually approximately a little bit over a half inch, um, by one inch or a little bit more when I wear my longer nails, like if they were these, this style. With these ones, I would have to make them a little bit smaller. So keep that in mind. So first I'm gonna show you some different looks that you can get, and then we're actually gonna work on how we get the custom decals laid out. So let me pause and I'll show you a couple of looks and then we'll work on a set ourselves. As you can see here, these look quite pretty in these sets with these. These I matted down. But as you can see, isn't that pretty? You have a toucan and a very beautiful tropical flower. And both of these would match either base nail color. Here we have a beautiful tropical sunset, which is very nice. So both of those I think are, are really pretty. So let's go ahead and get into how we make it happen. So first I thought I'd show you that you can also do something that's not tropical. Like here, I did a little design designer her maze. Set. So let's move that out of the way and we're going to be using this as our base and first we decide on our decals. I'm going to go with a parrot and another tropical flower. So I've got them cut and ready to go. So what we're going to do with our nails, if you're working with clear or even a beige, you're going to want to put a color down and we've got a lot of blue and then we've definitely got some green as well in the backgrounds of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of green on these nails. Anytime you're using um, water decal transfers or foils or anything like that, I always recommend that you put a little bit of color down because if you don't get the decal lined up perfectly or it doesn't fit 100%, I always tell you it's good to have a, a base color that's similar to the decal so that you can go ahead and kind of hide that because it's there. So let's go ahead and get this cured and then we'll come back and work with our decals. All right, so when we go to place our decals, first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our decal like so on the stamper. Then after we do that, we're going to moisten it quite well, just by dabbing it. Or you can also pick this up and just moisten it like so. And you do not want to remove the dispersion layer from the gel when it comes out because we're going to use that to help this stick. 
So we're going to go ahead and pull that off. As you can see, it just slides right off, just like one that you would buy. And since we're going to make sure this is kind of smoothed out on there. And now that that's all smoothed out, we're going to go ahead and grab the nail that we're going to put it on. And then we're going to line it up since we're using a clear or if you are doing a set this way, not on your hands, um, you can also turn your fingers over and place it like that. You can also use it as a guideline like so. And then I like to roll to one side and then putting a little bit of pressure will roll to the other. And then we're going to come in and we're going to rub it just like if you were working with a foil to just get it in place. Once it's in place, we're going to go ahead and use a nail file to remove the excess. I find it easier to pull this off to do that. Let me pull it off. And then typically just a couple runs along will score it enough for you to go ahead and grab the excess like so and pull it off. So I'm going to finish taking the excess off and then we're going to top coat it and we'll be good. All right. I wanted to throw in a quick tip and then we'll go ahead and do one more together and then we'll look at all the designs that are possible. All right. So I like to coat my designs in a clear coat, a shiny top coat no matter what, even if I'm going to mat them down, because in my experience, matte top coats are more penetrable and I often have more trouble with them. So even if I'm coming in with a mat after the fact, because I, I do want to mat this one down for a fun effect since I've got the shiny um, nails, I always do the shiny top coat first because I feel that gives you a better seal and it really does keep those nails intact longer. So that's totally up to you, but in my experience, I find that best. So let's go ahead and get this prepped, which is we've got that on there. We're lightly dampening it just to make sure it's moistened all the way through. Give it a few minutes to loosen itself. There we go. Like I said, just slide it off. Make sure that your decal is as flat as it can be so that you're not causing any excess wrinkles. And if you can see through here, can see where the design is. Can you see that through the stamper? We're going to go ahead and we are going to grab this nail and remember it has the dispersion layer so it will stick. So with this I like to make sure this is going to be and I want to catch this edge of the design so I'm going to make sure I lay it all the way over so that it catches the edge and then gently just roll it over. And then we're going to go ahead and start working it like we would a foil to get rid of any creases or bubbles. And if you look really close, you can see I missed the edge, but because we have that uh, green, you see there, but because we have that green, you can't really see it. So now we're going to go ahead and take the excess off. I'm going to top it and then I'm going to go ahead and mat it down and we'll take a peek. All right, guys, so we went ahead and we finished that and see how pretty that is. And then an overview of all the different things you can do. So just remember, it doesn't have to be bright colors to still be fun and tropical. So again, my couple of tips is make sure you use that soft tape measure to make sure you're making your decals appropriately sized for your nails. And then 
Also make sure that you're using a shiny top coat to seal everything in, even if you're going to mat them down like we did here. You can use some sparkle like I did, or you can just go ahead and use a plain color, whatever happens to work for you better. But the sky's the limit with these custom decals, truly. It's just anything you can print up and just make sure you have a good quality image. Um, hold on just a moment and we'll look at the sheet again and I'll talk about that real quick. You just need a good quality image that when you go ahead and you make it smaller, it's still not gonna, it's not gonna blur out, it's not gonna look odd. So as you can see here, I have some fun different summer themes going on from Beach, which this is a preview of some upcoming nails we're gonna be doing, to um, kind of some 50s pinups on the beach and ice cream and just fruit and just some swirls and just some fun stuff because we'll, I'll show you how to do some custom Frenches with these same um, stickers as well. But just remember, have fun with it. And these custom decals, the sky is the limit. So I definitely recommend it's something you give a try if you're interested. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of our summer series and hopefully we'll come up with something that you enjoy.